Sometimes feedback can be really hard to hear, and that's because a lot of us still tie our performance at work to our self-worth. But in his recent HBR article, performance psychologist Michael Gervais said it doesn't have to be this way. So Gervais works with Olympic athletes who basically live under constant scrutiny and also have to harness feedback effectively to constantly improve. A few of their strategies can help you harness your own feedback at work. To build a team that can give you clear, honest, and kind feedback, identify a small handful of people whose advice you really trust. Ask yourself who truly gets me, not just the professional me, but the vulnerable me who's just trying to figure things out. Try to filter out the opinions of people who are sharing a thought or a feeling, but likely don't have your best interest in mind. Instead, listen to feedback that's based on close observations, that's actionable, and that is given to promote your growth. Emotions can get in the way of your ability to be self-aware, and that makes it hard to make a correction when things feel a little off. When you experience a strong emotion, take a moment to just pause and reflect. Consider what the emotion might be signaling and how it's related to what's happening in this moment. When you do this, you're shifting your focus away from the feeling and instead analyzing the situation. You can then ask yourself, what went wrong, what can be improved, and what can I learn from all this? Finally, don't just acknowledge feedback, but make a real commitment to act on it. 